Good day everyone, CSS Code here. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. So today we're gonna to be looking at an Android box and it promises to be really decent. It's specs, it's price point, the availability of the box as well, and it's boasting some good chips, a good amount of storage, and also sufficient RAM to be able to multitask on whatever you're doing on there. But most of the time I know a lot of you would just be putting a media player on or some APKs, and this box is suited to that absolutely perfect. So this is the X90, Q and you can actually pick it up on multiple stores for no more than £25. Now what we have seen in the past on some Android boxes, they are way overpriced for what you're actually getting. And I find that this box hits the perfect price point, what we're willing to pay for what we're actually getting. Check all of the stores that I put down below because the price may vary by just a few pounds or a few dollars and you wanna save that amount of money, especially in lockdown at the moment. So that's why I've put multiple stores on there. So head down in the description below. Now, if you do find this video useful, just think about sharing it. Remember, this is a budget Android box, but it's freaking awesome. You will be impressed with this box and you probably will end up buying it. So I'm going to do my best to show you around it and to show you what you'll expect once you receive it at home. Oh, and one more thing. It is absolutely tiny. Look at it. So before we go and have a look into the UI, what we do, we'll have a look around the actual box. So you've got a couple of USD ports. You've also got an expandable card slot in there. So you're going to get a further up to 64 gig of internal storage, which is absolutely loads. Plus, it can actually be used to obviously transfer files to and from your computer or your smartphone. On the back, we've just got the power cable input. We've got the HDMI. We've got the Ethernet and we've also got an IR port as well. For the price point of this box you shouldn't be getting something like this that actually comes with the box. Now this is an IR extender. This is where the H96Q is absolutely freaking genius because you actually get this included in the box as well. So if you live in a luxurious house and you've got a massive lounge or a massive bedroom, then you're gonna have no problem with this actually plugged into the box. You don't need to use it, but it is an extender if you do think that you need it. Just give it a go without, and if you do need it, simply plug it in and you'll be good to go. You'll have no problems trying to aim it like a sniper down at the front end of the box. You'll be absolutely fine. You can just do it from anywhere. And that's pretty much all you get on the box. On the bottom, Term. Okay, we've got some air vents to dissipate any heat that builds up from within the box when it's actually running. You do get some little rubber bumpers. So if you are putting it on a table, on a desk, within your TV cabinet, then it's not gonna scratch any surface that you do put it on. So that's the box itself. Like I said, two gig of ROM and 16 gigabyte of internal memory, expandable with a 64 gigabyte SD card. So what we do, we go over and have a look at the X96Q up and running on me TV. So firstly, I'm just going to answer the questions which you'll be thinking about, like, why hasn't he said that already? One, can you play games on it? Well, yes, you won't be able to play the most intensive of games on this, but you're going to be able to play games like... Oh! Like this easily you know this isn't a gaming system this is going to be used for putting your apks on for using the internal inbuilt media player which i'll show you in a minute and also netflix and also other applications off the google play store now so there's there's crossy road okay so that that does work absolutely fine in there netflix another one this is an application which normally doesn't work on android boxes now this certain box is running android 10 netflix does work on it as does the Google Play Store. So you can just go on here to your heart is content and get anything which you would expect to get from the Google Play Store. So everything is fully supported. What you also get as well, I did forget to mention this is the actual remote. It's a half decent remote, it works, and with the IR extent, it's gonna work across the room. You're not gonna have no problems with actually using it. What it does also come with is a inbuilt media player as well. It's absolutely blank, it's, it's default, it's 18.3, so if you did want to upgrade, it's gonna be easy because you can go over to the Google Play Store and then just install it straight from there, so super, super simple. So if we go back home, another thing that doesn't normally work on boxes like these is YouTube as well. FYI, YouTube does work. And I have played 4K, running at 60 frames a second 
because my internet is so awful, I'm not gonna show you it because you'll probably think it's the box, but it's definitely not. Um, here we go. Here's like, I'll try. I'll try now. Live will go. In fact, I'm not gonna play it because I'm gonna get freaking copyright strikes for it. So it does play, but with my internet, it is very poor. So I don't think it would do it justice. But just to let you know, you can get the 4K because sometimes it's actually limited and it's capped at 360 on some of the uh, some of the Android boxes. But with this, it's not. So this is the user interface of it. Nice and simple, not over complicated, not clustered. You've just got everything there that you need. You can go down within your applications. These are the apps that are pre-installed actually on the box apart from obviously Crossy Road, which you saw me playing at the start. You've got Prime Video on there, YouTube, Netflix, and obviously the Play Store. You've also got Hulu and the KD player is the media player that I've just shown you which you will need to upgrade uh, probably to 18.6, but that's gonna be from the Google Play Store. So over the air updates as well, file manager, camera, air screen, gallery, and obviously you've got the browser in there. So if we go over to Chrome, that's gonna obviously open up the Chrome browser. Welcome to Chrome, this is a browser. Type in your search and we will give you results. Down here, as we've seen on previous boxes, this is where you can just add your favorites. So if we go into the plus and we wanted to add Crossy Road, we come back out and it's there. If we wanted to get rid of anything, we go into the plus again and we just deselect Chrome, come back out, then Chrome will be deselected. You can see on the left hand side, we've got a big Netflix. You've then got your KD player up there, YouTube Chrome, Miracast, setting, file browser, and applications, which we've been into. So settings and device preferences, we go into the about. You can see it's the X96Q. We're running on version 10 of Android with the latest update from the 5th of December 2019. We're going to the storage as well. You'll see we're going to have 13 gigabytes spare. It's a 16 gigabyte uh, internal storage with two gigabyte of ROM also, which is absolutely fine for what I know you're going to use it for. And at this price point of 25 quid or $35, you know, this is a lot of bang for your buck. So there we go, we've gone over the functions of the box. You've seen a little bit of gameplay. We know Netflix works. We know you've got KD Player already installed on here, but worth updating it through the Google Play Store. Google Play Store obviously works absolutely fine and YouTube works up to 4K. All of this for 25 pounds. So I hope I've given you all the information you need. If not, just comment down below and I'll get back to you because I reply to every single comment. So that's it, thank you so much. Welcome to the X96Q. Enjoy and go and buy it.